How close does Schultz he get? How close is he now to getting what he needs? Well, look, this certainly advances his case, but it doesn't win it. Just to recap, before the holiday season, I heard that private equity firms were dead set against doing any serious work on this deal until they saw the holiday sales figures come in. And today, we have those results. Okay, so what did they show? Does this help Schultz's case, seems like? Well, it shows that it stopped the slide in declining sales that we've seen over the last four quarters. So sales have finally stabilized, but there are a couple of really big challenges to this deal. One, the price that Schultz is proposing, $24 to $26 a share, right, is high, yeah. it's an enormous price, yeah. given where the stock is trading today. Not the kind of deal that private equity likes to do at such a high premium. And then you have this added complication of the company announcing a reduction in potential cash flow going forward to from a billion dollars to 500 million dollars that's not exactly so again half basically half the cash flow going forward that's not exactly a bull case for taking on more debt because again you need the cash flow to repay the debt that's used to take the company to take the company private. So timeline wise, what is there a next pivot date, a next key date that people who are following the story should watch out for? Look, he has basically another month and a half to get it together or go home because he's asked for a series of extensions. This is the he has until about the end of February to present an offer or like I said, go home. Mind you, when you take a look at private equity's history in retail, it's, some of it's been good, some of it's not been so, so great. And there are very few firms that have a track record of turning around a very tough retail company. KKR has done it with Dollar General, but Apollo, of course, got burned with linens and things. That company actually ended up going into bad And I think as many people will have pointed out as well that Best Buy's business model is just tough. It is tough for them to sell whether or not they stop the bleeding this holiday season. You still have retailers such as Amazon and tons of others online that basically can do what they do. You're absolutely right. They have to they have to prove that there's a value add for going into a store. And they think it's all about, I mean, the current CEO is trying to train the personnel to make it so that when you go into a store, you're that actually getting more service. information, yeah. more service, and you're willing perhaps to pay for the overhead that is involved with running a physical store. All right, well, I'm glad you told us the end of February. That's the next date to watch.